today we're going to be building a little shelter for the new boy goats that I'm getting in like four weeks and I am using some of the leftover tomato steaks. This is kind of like an experiment because I don't want it to be super heavy. Um, so I don't want to use anything like 2x4s because I want to be able to move it around the yard. I don't want it to be anything too huge. Uh, probably the size of a large doghouse. Um, this wood is really like, I mean it's, it's hard wood. We're probably going to have to pre-drill it. I think that once we screw them together and brace them and everything that they will do the job that I need to do at least for one season. Like I said, it's an experiment, so if it doesn't work out, I'm sure that it'll become a little playhouse for <laughs> the other goats. <laughs> braces in the corners so that it's not so wobbly. What did you say about these cutoffs? That we got plenty of wooden stakes for vampires. He said that we have plenty of wooden stakes for vampires and I thought oh my god that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. I'm gonna put these in a box and write in case of vampires on them. That's gonna be cute. Thank you for the idea. <laughs> We cut 45 sawn and I'm just gonna put those in all the corners. I feel like our projects are coming full circle because these are the tomato steaks that we use this year to grow our tomatoes on. They still have the ties on them and everything and now it's becoming uh, an animal shelter for this winter. So I think it's great to Recycle and reuse whatever you can and save money wherever you can. That's kind of like the The homesteading permaculture way What are you trying not to be in the camera? <laughs> well, look at me. Look at the camera. <laughs> He's, he says don't look at don't look at him. Look at the camera So we've got corner braces in all of these and now we're just taking another precaution to make it a little bit sturdier and putting a brace in down the center here. So we have all of the walls put together. There's the front wall. We did two braces on the front wall so that we can put a door. And now we're going to <laughs> screw it together and see what happens, see how sturdy it is. It's probably not going to be super sturdy until we get the, the siding put on it. But we're just going to see what happens.
it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I wanted to use as much of the tomato steak without wasting it as possible. And the tomato steaks were six foot. And I had to cut the pointy end off of them. So our tallest wall is 5'6". Actually, it's taller than 5'6 because we put... We put the ESO yeah, so 5'9". No? No, this is a very... 5'7". Inch and a half, so... Uh... Ish. I don't know. Anyway, it's <laughs> around about there. <laughs> These walls right here are definitely 5'3". And... I had planned on having them flip the other way, but where we added this and it was just taller, I wanted more of a slanted roof. I wanted to be sure that the we had enough slant for the water and stuff to run off of. But actually, I think that these horizontal braces make it more sturdy. I actually don't think that it made that big of a difference, especially with our front wall having the vertical braces. Um, if we wanted to shear it up more, I mean, I could put some more vertical braces here, but I don't see an issue with this. Especially once we get the siding put on, it's going to be sturdy enough for what we need it for. I mean, we're just going to be keeping some bucks in here, so um, a lot of people don't even have a shelter, really. They'll, they have, like, one of those little igloos, and I just thought that I would give them something a bit more luxurious. <laughs> and also, I wanted to have a fun project. That's really cool. I'm very proud of that. It's pretty sturdy, isn't it? These are tomato steaks, y'all. I mean, not not brand new tomato steaks either. These were out for one season. Pretty sure these are oak. Some of them were red oak and some of the hardest wood that I've ever had to drill, <laughs> honestly. Um, and yeah, I mean, some of them are really warped. Like, this one right here is pretty warped. But it's just a support anyway, and I think it turned out nice. So we've got the roof grid put on. We went and bought these treated pieces here, and then we're also putting some treated 2x4s on the bottom just to keep uh, this wood off the ground and keep it from rotting. Micro's a little skittish now. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> So these are our new goats. This is Mando. 
and that is Micro. Micro Moon. I've been wanting a boy for a while so that when the girls get old enough, I'll be able to breed them. And that'll be next year. But I found this guy, and uh, he came with this one. <laughs> Um, I just, I didn't want him to be alone, I wanted, you know, the herd animals, so I didn't want them, I didn't want him to get lonely. And look how cute! They're adorable. He's so little. He's actually so small, um, I'm probably gonna go see if I can get him to take a bottle. If he does, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna video that, so. Here is the almost finished shelter. We still have to put a door on it. Last night, we screwed up this piece of um, plywood to the front of it, so nothing could get in and they couldn't get out. But of course, we have this electric netting, so nothing was gonna get in or out anyway, but just as a safety precaution and to keep, you know, the draft down. The girls back behind the house, um, I can hear them now. <laughs> They are just, they have been so noisy all day. They want to know what's going on. <laughs> I think they can smell them. They're just a little bit skittish, being in a new place and new people. <laughs> but they'll eat out of my hand and I'm thinking after a couple days of, or a week or so of working with them, they'll come around. Especially the little baby. He was born 9-11 and then Micro, the bigger one, was born in March. And it is November 11th today. This is day two of them being here, and they're definitely getting warmed up and getting used to being here. Micro's still really skittish, <laughs> but I think um, we just need we just need to work on it. I just woke up, so that's why I look like this. <laughs> as far as the goat shed is going. Um, it rained last night really hard, and everything in there is completely dry. Uh, we've been using just a piece of plywood right here to screw up on the side of it. Um, like just a half sheet of plywood. They still have like an open window up top. With the electric fence, nothing's going to get in. They're definitely not going to get out. Uh, and I want to paint it because it is just plywood. But I'm not sure what color. Uh, I have some like a whole can of red, like barn red. I don't know if I want that in, or not. But that's the next thing. I painted, um, there's a really big, like too big for the <laughs> shed, but I'm gonna put it on there anyway. Barn quilt with a um, goat head on it. And so once I get the building itself painted, then I'll hang that up 